Hey everyone, welcome back. So here we go into area 2. Now if you want to check your inventory, just press Z and you can check out um, all the money you've gotten as well as all the ghosts you have. So here we go. Now besides mice, there are bats, but they don't really give you anything. They don't give you any money whatsoever. Now also with the gold mice, they don't necessarily have to be in those uh, wedges of cheese. Sometimes they just appear at random times, like in halls or in rooms. They just appear randomly sometimes. And here's a new type of ghost, but they're really easy to catch. Alright, first off, let's go down to the breaker room which is down here in the basement. Now, there's a blue ghost, I think, in here. No, not that blue ghost. Make sure you get all the mice first. Otherwise, there's nothing else in this room. Next, we go... Oh, there it is. Yep. That's what I was talking about. Sometimes they just appear at random times. That's all I can say is wow. Nothing, nothing. Alright. Alright, up next we go to the bathroom. Because on your map it's the only other door that is unlocked. type of ghost. They grab onto you and try to steal your money. And when they grab onto you, all you have to do is shake the control stick around. And now the professor is going to call and explain. to the ballroom. So here we go, the ballroom. And here's another new type of ghost. Now these ghosts are different. They don't show their hearts as easily. Oh, wow. You have to suck off their masks, and then they show their hearts. But you have to watch out for their pitchfork things. Whenever you get hurt and you lose money, try to grab as many coins as possible.
time for a mini boss fight. And here's another portrait ghost. What you have to do is get on that rotating floor with them and wait for them to say, ah, and then you can catch them. And it leads to the storage room, which is one of the most important rooms in the mansion. Alright, here's a blue ghost. Now make sure you get it the second you get into this room. It's in this chair right here. Try to ignore that pink ghost. First of all, there's a button on the back wall, if you can kind of see it in the mirror. Just use your Game Boy Horror and you can see it right there. And here's another secret door thingy. Watch this cutscene. Mm -hmm. And there's King Boo. And he's the guy that's like behind all this. He's the one who kidnapped Mario. He's the one who stole the paintings and yeah, he's just the bad guy of the game. Now when Boo's travel in numbers, they grow in their power as well. So, like I said, they're the ones that kidnap Mario. So now we have to catch every Boo in order to weaken their powers and to save Mario. And that's where it ties in with turning on every light in the mansion. Because the Boo's like to hide in lit rooms. They're not like regular ghosts that hide in dark rooms. Now on the Game Boy Horror, there's a secret function that lets you find booze. It's called the Boo Radar, and of course the professor designed it, and it really comes in helpful, or it's really handy. Uh oh, I'm trying to make the videos a little shorter. All right. When we return, it'll be boo hunting.